All right, man. Like, share, subscribe, um, and vibe. But uh, this is like my second reaction video to Quando. He's a, uh, what is it? He's an interesting person, I should say. I'm going to just say he's an interesting person. You know, because you're extremely talented. Extremely talented. Undeniable. You know, and everybody knows that. But in this rap game, you know, it, it, it's it, it's like the fans feel like they have to choose a side or um, ignore the talent because of, you know, your differences with somebody else. And it's like, no matter what you do, you do millions and millions of views, but people still have things to say about you. Does that get tiring sometimes where you're consistently dropping music, you're consistently doing what you're supposed to do as an artist, and you're still slighted? Do it ever bother me is the question. Yeah, is it like you just being consistent as an artist, but you're still not getting that pause. But if you watched the last video, I was talking about how why is he still rolling up? He need a couple people. He probably gonna be rolling up every clip. Every clip like a five, six, seven minute. Come on, bro credit that you deserve as an artist because of street shit. Does that bother you? Does that does that discourage you sometimes? I credit far as in the the credit you're talking about is the the way I get talked about like damn Quanda Rondo a good artist. Everything he dropped fire. Like this talent, he sounds good. This is a real song. This isn't no, I'm rapping and trapping. I'm on the block with a scratch. I ain't nothing like that. This real pain music, real drip music, real slang and nine mute, any type beat, uh, any topic. Any topic out here you want to get on from a love song to a gun song to a clothes song to a fun song, he doing it like the rest. Like, he's just like all the other mainstream artists, but nobody is talking about that in a positive way. There's always something negative to say about him. You talking about that type of credit? Yeah. I ain't going to lie. That don't really bother me. Because bro explained this shit. it took so long. Say cheese went ahead and said yes. He don't even know what the fuck he just said. Say cheese just like I'm gonna continue the interview and I don't wanna act, you know. It don't matter where you at in life, from the basketball court in the NBA to the football field in the NFL, to the corner you claim and the drugs you sell. Is man, just put it like this. You see what John Morant going through right now. That don't start the fact that he'll put up a hundred threes in one game. Hmm. I don't care how many people get on the internet and say something negative about him and be like, John Morant had a gun in the club. John Morant think he a gangster. He thinks he's a thug. John Morant not like that. John Morant lame. That don't start the fact that he got a $230 million contract. He bought his mom and dad a multi-million dollar mansion and they stay across the street from each other. He can go in the store and buy whatever he want, materialistic, to things he really need. His mom, whatever she needs, she can get it. If a kidney transplant fifty thousand dollars and that's what she needs because of a sickness, not saying it's that she can get that. And nine times out of ten, the person, the the people in the average world who have the negative comments about them, if they mom and dad needed that kidney trans transplant, they'd be crying in the next two three weeks because. And I'm saying this humbly, but God forbid your mom and dad to be dead because you ain't even got the money. 
to do that to your mom and dad. Dad. So no, that stuff don't bother me because at the end of the day, my daughter, girlfriend, mom, dad, grandmama, granddaddy, sister, cousin, homeboy, friends in prison and in the county jail, they well taken care of financially. So, and everything not all about money, but at the same time, this is my job. Just like fans who got negative comments to say about me, I always speak a bad upon my name. This really towards them. No. Yeah. That don't bother me. <laughs> well, so bro, live. <laughs> Hey Chad, I don't even I ain't streaming, but if I ever got some on my lip, bro, I'm gonna try to delete the video, bro. <laughs> oh man. I don't know if people think it do, but no, it don't bother me. He been rolling that motherfucker for about 80 minutes. God damn, your lips what's your lip dry for? You been licking on that motherfucker? God damn. Take that grill out. That nigga want to look like he got money so bad. Guys, at the end of the day, it's not all about the money, but the same mm-hmm. people who have the negative comments about me, the average people, I'm pretty sure they have a nine to five when they wake up. And there's nothing wrong with a nine to five. That's getting a check at the end of the day. So what I'm saying is whatever they do to get money, they got to do it if they grow and have a family to provide for. They getting paid for their job, so right? I'm getting paid for my job, and it's on the way higher level. I wake up with three. Sean, tell him already, bro, before I do it. Where my phone at? Condo, Rondo, where is your... Where's my phone? I'm about to tell him you just. dollars checks every three, four months. Ass count, All type of checks. Just streaming checks from my first tape I ever dropped. Like, um, I mean, I make. Sean, laughing. Just laughing. I make a for sure $500,000 a year. Mm. I save a lot of money and I have a, I have my money invested into a lot of other avenues where I make money. So, no, it don't bother me because at the end of the day, I'm getting paid for my nine to five just like y'all's. And the difference between y'all nine to five and my nine to five is I'm living the life I want to live with my job and the checks I'm receiving off it. So, no, that don't. One thing my grandma If you're talking negative about me, apparently you're not on my side. You all the way against me. You don't like me. So I don't like you. And if you negative and you all the way on my bad side you don't give a fuck about me so i don't give a fuck about you so towards the negative people once you speaking bad on me you just open the door for me to walk in and i want to say something bad about you fuck you you broke for me hmm. apparently you not screaming my music you not listening to me so you not up for me so fuck you i got way more than you Hey, keep talking bad. I'm glad. Hey, man. <clears throat> Quando Rondo, like, share, subscribe. And I'm back in this bitch ready for another vibe. You feel me?